हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर कीपिंग वेल आई एम प्रियंका सिंह योर साइंस टीचर टुडे आई एम हियर टू स्टार्ट विद द चैप्टर नंबर एट ऑफ क्लास सेवन दैट इज वेदर क्लाइमेट एंड एडेप्टेशन ऑफ एनिमल्स टू क्लाइमेट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द वेदर अ टिपिकल वेदर रिपोर्ट ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर डे इज शोन बिलो it provides information about temperature rainfall humidity etc during the last 24 hours it also provides forecast for the weather for the day so children are you able to see this weather template what is given in this template this picture is showing the temperature and the forecast of the day that how will be the weather for the whole day so now moving to the next the short time atmospheric conditions at a particular place and time with respect to temperature relative humidity rainfall wind speed etc is called the weather at that place the temperature humidity rainfall wind speed etc are called elements of weather weather is a complex phenomena it changes suddenly over very short period the weather may be sunny in the morning it may get cloudy within an hour or two and it may rain heavily thereafter that is why the weather forecast are not always right weather forecasting weather forecast is based on the data collected by weather balloons satellite photographs of the cloud formation etc weather forecast is helpful to people in the following ways it allow people to prepare for bad weather it helps in the planning of daily activities it is helpful for life and property it helps farmer to plan various agricultural activities an extra mile the science of the study of weather is meteorology the professional who study and record weather are known as meteorologist maximum and minimum temperatures the highest temperature recorded during a day is called the maximum temperature and the lowest temperature recorded during the day is called the minimum temperature the maximum and minimum temperature are recorded with the help of a special thermometer called maximum and minimum thermometer in order to prepare weather report the maximum and minimum temperatures reached during a whole day is recorded we feel cool comfortable and quite pleasant in the early morning even in summer do you know why in the early morning the sun's landing rays do not heat up the ground and surrounding air to a very large extent the maximum temperature of a particular day is reached sometime in the afternoon this makes the surroundings very hot and unbearable during summer for this reason we feel miserable in the afternoon during summer climate climate of a place is defined as the average weather condition at a particular place over a long period of time say 20 to 30 years or more climate varies from place to place determining the climate of a place meteorologists maintain the record of everyday weather that is maximum and minimum temperature humidity and rainfall if any average maximum and minimum temperature for the month is calculated by average maximum temperature sum of the daily maximum temperature of the month by number of days in the month average minimum temperature sum of the daily minimum temperature of the month by number of days in the month mean of average temperature of each month is calculated over many years the long term average temperature is used for making the climate chart of that place so children are you able to see the chart this chart is depicting a climate chart this is a climate chart of shrinagar are you able to see this chart this chart is depicting a climate a climate of a shrinagar and this chart is given monthly wise and the average and the average temperature minimum and maximum so children you can go through this chart and observe this okay after that you will be able to know the minimum and maximum temperature you will be able to know the maximum and minimum temperature of the shrinagar and the second climatic chart is of a delhi you can go through this chart and see the temperature of delhi how it remains whole year 
From the Grimmen climate charts, we can conclude Srinagar is cold and wet during winter and moderate and wet during summer. Delhi is cold and dry during winter, December to March, hot and dry during April, May, October and November and hot and humid in June, July and August. Now, we'll see the difference between the weather and the climate. Children, do you know what is the difference between a weather and a climate? The both terms are relatively close to each other and same but has different meanings and sense like weather. Weather, first one. Weather is applicable to a smaller area, maybe a city or a small group of cities. First, climate. Climate is applicable to a much larger area, maybe a state or region. Second, weather describes short-term atmospheric condition of a place. Climate describes the long-term average 25 to 30 years weather condition of a particular state or region. Third, weather at a place may change suddenly. Climate changes take place every slowly over a long period of time. The geographical factors affecting the climate at any place. Climate at any place mostly depends on temperature and precipitation, rainfall, snowfall, hail and mist. The temperature and precipitation at any place depend on several geographical factors described below. Some geographical factors affecting the climate at any place are distance from the sea. The climate of a place is also affected by its distance from the sea. The coastal areas being close to the sea have moderate climate and the weather remains almost unchanged throughout the year. As we move inland away from sea, the temperature shows drastic change during summer and winter. The central parts of the continents are dry and hot in summer and extremely cold in winter. Humidity the place near the sea are more humid than the places that are far from the sea. For example, Kolkata and Kerala have high humidity, whereas Haryana and Rajasthan have low humidity. Height above the sea level. The height above the sea level is called altitude. Higher the altitude, cooler the place. For example, Srinagar is cooler than Patna. Amount of sunlight received. The sun is the source of heat and light on earth. The rays from the sun fall directly on the equator regions. For example, Malaysia is hotter than Canada. Ocean currents. Warm ocean currents make the climate warm and wet. Cool ocean currents make the climate colder and dry. Direction of prevailing wind. The direction of prevailing winds from the sea ocean side brings rain to the coastal area and dry weather to inland areas. As a result, the climate of the areas near sea is moderate. Mountains. Climate is affected by mountains. Mountains receive more rainfall than low-lying areas because the temperature on top of mountain is lower than the temperature at sea level. That is why you often see snow on the top of mountains all year round. The higher the place is above sea level, the colder it will be. This happens as altitude increases, air becomes thinner and is able to absorb only a small amount of heat. Latitude or distance from the equator. Distance of a place from the equator is represented by latitude. The equator receives maximum sunlight. The sun rays fall straight on the equator. Therefore, places in the equatorial region and nearby are very warm and have maximum rainfall. As we move away from the equator on either side towards the poles, the angle of sun rays increases. That is, the sun rays become slanting, decreasing the intensity of light and heat. Therefore, distance from the equator determines the climate of a place. Based on the difference in temperature and rainfall, three climatic zones have been identified. Torrid zone. These are the hot and humid zones from equator. These zones get direct and straight sun rays. Throughout the year, these have tropical evergreen forest. Frigid zone. These are the regions around north and south poles. These receive slanting rays of the sun and are very cold. 
these have grasses, lichens, mosses and small shrubs. El Nino effect. El Nino refers to the irregular warming to surface water in the Pacific. The warmer water pumps energy and moisture into the atmosphere, altering global wind and rainfall patterns. El Nino affect wind and rainfall pattern and has been blamed for droughts and floods in countries around the Pacific Rim. The phenomena has caused tornadoes in Florida, smog in Indonesia and forest fires in Brazil. See below. In our country, the monsoon rains are largely influenced by El Nino effect. So children, are you able to see these pictures? These pictures are depicting different calamities like El Nino generated tornado in Florida, smog in Indonesia, fires in Brazil due to El Nino. Human activities. Many activities of humans which influence climate are large scale cutting of trees. Trees take up carbon dioxide and produce oxygen during photosynthesis. Large scale cutting of trees will result in an increased amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has caused an increase in the, in the atmospheric temperature. Industrialization Heavy industrialization, transportation of goods, etc. consume very large quantities of fossil fuels. The use of fossil fuels is responsible for increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, acid rain and air, water and soil pollution. Climatic adaptations of animal. Climate is the most important element on the natural environment. The type of organisms and where they are found depends on it. All living organisms have adapted in different ways to the climate in which they live. We shall study the effect of climate on the adaptations of animals living in polar regions and in the tropical rainforests. Polar regions constitute the Arctic and the Antarctic regions. Some countries belonging to this region are Greenland, Alaska, Finland, Siberia and the entire of Antarctica continent. The tropical rainforest, as the name suggests, are the regions in the tropics India, Malaysia, Indonesia, Brazil and Kenya are examples of some of the countries where these forests are found. The polar regions. Polar regions are the ice areas around the North Pole and the South Pole. The northern polar regions are called Arctic regions and the southern polar regions are called Antarctic regions. The climate of these regions are extremely harsh. These regions are very cold for most part of the year and covered with snow. Animals of these regions have some adaptive features to survive in extreme cold climate. Arctic foxes, Arctic hares, whales, seals, musk, oxen, Arctic birds and polar bears are seen in polar regions. Adaptations of polar bear. The dense fur made of keratin keeps the polar bear warm and dry. The white fur. The white fur merges with the snowy background and hence protects them from predators. Polar bear have thick layer of fat under their skin called blubber. They are as thick as 11 cm. This provides complete insulation from cold. Ears are short to prevent heat loss. The feet have soft bumps which provide traction on ice and short tough claws grip the ice. Polar bears are strong swimmers and are known to swim at a speed of 100 km per hour. Their nostrils can remain closed under water for over 2 minutes. They can dive under water up to depth of 6 meters to catch fish. Their front paws propel them through water while hind feet act like rudders. Adaptations of penguins. Penguins are flightless birds that live in the Antarctic region, south polar region of the earth. Penguins do not have predators in the icy remote region where they live. They eat fish so they have become very good swimmers since they need not to fly to look for food. They have lost their ability to fly. Penguins can live in the extremely cold climate on the polar region due to the following adaptations. 
penguin is white in color with black colored feather on its back. The white color merges well with the white surrounding of ice and snow. The black colored feathers on the penguin's back absorb heat from the sun and help it to keep warm during the day. Penguin has thick skin and a layer of fat called blubber below its skin which keeps it warm in extreme cold climate. Penguins huddle together in groups to keep themselves warm. Each group may comprise several thousand penguins. Like polar bears, penguins are also excellent swimmers. They have streamlined bodies, flipper-like wings and webbed feet for making them good swimmers. Adaptation in animals to tropical rainforests. Tropical rainforests are located around the equator. The climate of the tropical rainforest is hot 150 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius and humid. This region gets plenty of rainfall. Due to warmth and humidity, the rainforest supports a wide variety of plants and animals. Animals living in rainforest. A large number of animals live in the rainforest. Some typical examples are listed below. Large animals such as Indian elephant, rhinoceros, tigers, leopards, deer, sheep, goats, bears, and wild cattle live in tropical rainforest. Small animals such as monkeys, birds, snakes, rodents, frogs, lizards are found in large numbers in tropical rainforest. Adaptation in feeding habitats. Forest animals face severe competition for food. They have developed several methods for obtaining food. For example, birds to can possess a long large beak. This helps it to reach the food from branches on which it cannot sit. Most forest dwellers are herbivores because of plenty of vegetation. Adaptation in living. Most tropical rainforest animals walk on the land on their four feet. Many animals are adapted to live on trees. The animals which live on trees are called arboreal. Monkey, red-eyed frog are arboreal. Monkeys use their arm and legs and even their tails to swing from a tree to another. Red-eyed frogs have sticky pads on the tips of their claws. These sticky pads help them to climb on the trees. Birds are also adapted to rest on trees. Adaptation in sense organs. Animals living in tropical rainforest depends on their sense and agility. They have sharp eyesight and are sensitive to hearing. Some tropical examples of adaptation in tropical rainforest. Adaptation of some animals living in tropical rainforest are described below. Adaptation in monkeys. Monkeys are well adapted to live on the trees in tropical rainforest. They have long tails for grasping branches. Their hands and feet are such that they can easily hold on the branches of the trees. They have a posable thumb which allows them to grasp small things. Adaptation in Buffalo The buffalo is well adapted to wet or moist climate. Buffalo skin is black in color with very little fur. Black bodies absorb more heat. So it cannot tolerate the heat of hot summer days. To avoid this heat, buffaloes prefer wet places and relax in water. Adaptation in Chameleon Chameleon is an arboreal lizard. Its tail is long and prehensile. It has a great gripping power due to its fused finger in groups of 3 and 2. The eyes are very large and they move in all directions. The eyes are very large and they move in all directions. Later, adapted for binocular vision. They see in front with their right eye and behind with their left eye. Its tongue is large, sticky and rolled up as a tape inside the mouth. It has the capacity to change its skin color similar to that of the background to hide itself. On finding a suitable prey, the chameleon at once shoots its tongue out to catch the prey. The tongue is then rolled up back into the mouth. 
adaptation in birds. Birds have the following adaptive features that enable them to fly in the air for a long time. For limbs modified into wings for flying, birds, bats are truly adapted for flying, that is, the aerial mode of living. Body is light in weight, bones with air cavities to make body light. Strong flight muscles provide additional strength for winged flight. Animals of Indian Tropical Forests The tropical rainforests of India are found in Western Ghats and Assam. The two typical animals of the Indian Tropical Rainforest are Lion Tail Macaque or Bearded Ape Elephant Lion Tail Macaque or Bearded Ape The Lion Tail Macaque lives in the rainforest of Western Ghats in South India. Its most outstanding feature is a silver white mane which surrounds the head from the cheeks down to its chin. This gives monkey its German name Beard Ape. The tail is medium approx 25 cm and is a black tuft at the end similar to a lion's tail. It is a good climber. It feeds mainly on fruits, seeds, young leaves, stems, flowers and buds. It also eats insects found under the bark of the trees. Since it is able to get sufficient food on the trees, it rarely comes down on the ground. Elephants Elephants are adapted to live in dense forests. Their tusks are straight since curved one might get caught in the branches and vines of the forest. They possess large ears which they flap to create a cooling effect. An elephant trunk has many uses including picking up food, drinking water and communicating with other elephants. Elephants also make very low pitch sound that help them to communicate with each other. So students, it's time for Reader's Digest. The temperature, humidity, rainfall, wind speed etc. are called the elements of weather. Weather forecast is based on the data collected by weather balloon, satellite, photographs of the cloud formation, etc. The science of the study of weather is called metrology. Climate of a place is defined as the average weather conditions at a particular place over a long period of time. The places near the sea are more humid than the places that are far from the sea. The southern polar regions are called Antarctic region. So students, it's time to take your leave. So bye, we'll meet in the next class.